As beginners, we all search for tons of online tutorials on how to use colored pencils, how to get the skin tones, good gradients, vibrant colors, which papers and pencils to use, but no one actually speaks about pretty much the most important thing here. Hello guys, my name is Mima and in today's video we are going to talk about the most important thing you should know and learn about working with colored pencils. Now, when I was getting familiar with colored pencils, I searched tons of tutorials, tried out many of them. I used the same colors as people from the tutorials, same brand, same paper, but somehow their drawings were turning out amazingly and mine were pretty much disastrous. Now, this is something I couldn't understand up until the point I realized what exactly was the issue here. While I was watching tutorials about colored pencils, I saw that many artists are speaking about layering, blending, burnishing, but the only thing none of us can actually explain through tutorials is the pressure of the pencil itself. And trust me, guys, this is the most important thing to learn about colored pencils before anything else. Every medium has its own technique. When it comes to watercolor, there are wet on wet techniques wet on dry or dry on wet. Then something similar we have for acrylics and oils as well. And here with colored pencils, the main technique you will have to learn is the pencil pressure. Now, based on how much you press your pencil, you will determine in advance how bold the color will be, how many layers the paper is allowing you to layer over that first layer based on the color you used first, which color would look good or bad on top of it. Now, there are many different outcomes here just based on your pencil pressure. If I use the same color and I press it differently three times, on all three parts, I will get a different outcome. If I layer on top of these ones another layer of different pencil again, it will look completely different all three parts. But again, depending on how much I press the second pencil here, again, the colors can look completely different. Now, you see, when you want to draw something and then you find a tutorial on how to draw a face with color pencils or anything similar, Having just the tutorial and the list of colors is, unfortunately, it's not enough. You will have to discover for yourself first the varieties of things that you can get by just pressing your pencil differently, because if I give you the list of the colors I use for this portrait, for example, if you don't see the process of creating it, you will not know exactly how I managed to get certain shades, which colors I was combining with which, and how exactly I built the value of each and every part. You have real-time step-by-step drawing tutorials on my Patreon page where I'm explaining every single step of the way of building layers, shades, and values for colored pencils tutorials. I'm also letting you know through a tutorial when to press your pencil lighter or harder. So if you're interested in joining my Patreon and getting access to all these already uploaded real-time step-by-step narrative drawing tutorials, not just for colored pencils, but every other dry medium as well, Make sure to join me there and start practicing your skills straight away. I had a student on my Patreon page. After a while, she started producing some amazing art. And in the beginning, she loved working on portrait drawings with colored pencils. So she was going through a tutorial and after a while, she contacted me telling me she was following my tutorial. And at one point in that tutorial, I said to press the pencil harder to burnish that certain part. So she did and she pretty much pierced her drawing with colored pencil, she tore the paper. Then she told me, okay, I just realized that your harder pencil pressure isn't exactly my harder pencil pressure, so I realized I have to balance it out. So you see, going through these things, in this case, through tutorials, we can conclude that even saying it isn't enough until you actually go through a process and feel it for yourself. Only like that, you will actually learn and build up your own sense when it comes to working with colored pencils. This is something you will definitely have to discover for yourself, whether going through a tutorial and then going through it step by step or just experimenting on your own, whatever is best for you. But there isn't a tutorial in the world that you can just watch and all of a sudden have a knowledge and skills with colored pencils. You have to go through it yourself, feel the difference, experiment, and have many failures and accomplishments in order to achieve the desired skills with colored pencils. Again, you can practice this through real-time step-by-step tutorials where you will be able to see how the shades are being built step-by-step, -step, 
and you will also see better and know when to press the pencil lighter or harder. I uploaded a video here on my YouTube channel where I was drawing an eye using just a usual set of 12 Prismacolor colored pencils. And in that tutorial on the top of the left corner, you will see when I used which color and how hard I was pressing it as well. So make sure to check this video out. The link of this video will be in the description down below just to understand this topic even better. Now, don't look at this as something very difficult or frustrating. Once you start practicing, you will see how fun it actually is. You will be able to discover loads of possibilities here. You will understand better what colors are combining well and which ones are not, what to layer first, the dark shades, the mid shades or the lightest one. You will get to know your colored pencils much better. You will understand the colors itself better, which one goes with which one better and which ones are terrible for combining and layering together. And the whole process is about you gaining your skills and gaining full control of your pencils. I found that period of time when I was learning about pencil pressure very exciting as I was discovering tons of things and possibilities that colored pencils are having, which led me into falling in love, like completely falling in love with this medium. So see this as something beautiful as having control of your pencil and generally having control under this exciting and very unique medium and being able to produce some amazing drawings is the best feeling in the world. It makes you feel very powerful, to be honest, as any new skills that you gain through life will generally make you feel powerful. I personally find the skills that I gained with color pencils the most challenging one as this medium was one of the most challenging ones for me, but that feeling of accomplishment you have after you go through loads of practice and fully understand colored pencils possibilities and gain your skills is just so amazing and satisfying. You can also start first with just using random colors and experimenting with them. You don't actually have to draw anything. I was practicing first by just layering color onto a color. I wasn't creating a drawing. I was just curious to know what difference would it be to press the pencil a bit harder, then make it lighter, then layer more layers on top of it with different colors and see what is going to happen and what values I was going to get. Like this, you're taking off the pressure from yourself that an actual drawing has to be finished and that it has to look good. And then you're giving yourself the freedom to just practice without any expectations. Whenever you have some free time, take a piece of paper and just play with colors. Usually all beginners find it frustrating when they finish a drawing with colored pencils and it doesn't look like they wanted it to. So here, in the beginning, you really have to trick your mind. See this as something fun, not frustrating, and start experimenting with your colors as much as possible. This will be all guys for today's video. Thank you for staying till the end. Truly hope you'll find this information helpful as this is really the most important thing to learn with colored pencils. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also check out my social media. They are in the description down below here. And if you want to draw with me and get to know me better, make sure to join my Patreon page. The link is also in the description down below. Also, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this topic? And I see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye. I forgot. Because if I give you the list of the color, <laughs> which color would you look like? Like, but, but me forgot to speak English. Shades and values for color. Shades and values for colored pencils tutorials. I'm also. Ho! <laughs> 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 oh, I had a. The, from the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> Again in the beginning. I have cat's hair in my eye. And then if you're having yourself, if you're having yourself, <laughs> if you have yourself, you're good. I did. Jesus. Now a coffee. <laughs> Baba.